Hey guys, this is Nick from Canada Weld coming at you from our office in Vaughan, Ontario today. I wanted to make a quick video for you guys talking about the pre-flow and post-flow function. I'm going to talk about what they're for, when you need it, and then we're going to show you how we adjust it on the machine. Okay, so first let's identify where our pre-flow and post-flow sit. So here is our pre-flow and right now it's set for 10 seconds and that is a lot of pre-flow. That means that the gas is going to run for 10 full seconds before the arc actually strikes after I pull the trigger. So I'm going to turn this down because I don't need to waste 10 seconds worth of gas, but I do want some protection. I want that oxygen to be pushed away from where I'm just about to weld and I want that nice argon gas. So let's do three seconds. Now let's move on to post flow. That's all the way down here. And you can see these are denoted by a little bottle to help you remember. So. This is also set to 10 seconds right now. Now, sometimes it's good to have a lot of shielding gas at the very end, but 10 seconds again seems a little bit extreme. So we're going to turn this down to like we had before, but I'm going to go with a little longer than three seconds just because that weld's going to be real hot at the end. And while it cools off, I want that weld puddle to cool off inside that nice protective layer, or, uh, sorry, that nice protective layer of argon gas. So there. So now, when I begin to weld, when I pull the trigger, for three seconds, the gas is going to flow before the arc strikes. And then when I'm all done and I take my finger off the trigger, the gas is going to continue to flow for five more seconds, even after I've taken my finger off, which will allow my weld to cool and stay looking nice without any sort of discoloration.